So we can put this. Ah, there we go. Now we're live. All right, guys. 20 triangles. Ready. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten. Nice job, guys. Grab your collars. Just get ready to warm up the neck. Bring your finger to the chest. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Chin to your shoulders. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ears to your shoulder. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nice. Let's get ready to move. Point bridges, guys. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. What's up, guys? Want to hit the stage? Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nice, guys. Let's go ahead and sit up for break falls. Hands across your shoulders, feet together. Ready, one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nice guys, let's lay down, stretch arms and legs a little bit. Let's sit up and stretches. Left leg out, right leg in. Ready, one, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Six breaks. Ready, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten. Nice, both legs straight up front. Ready, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nice, so that's butterfly position. Come on, Diane, I got you. Let's go. <laughs> Ready, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now feet wide apart. Yeah. Elbows to the mat if you can. Ready, one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Nice guys, go ahead and roll all the way back. For this position. Super 
Two deep, deep breaths. Out pressing shoulders on the neck. Roll back slowly. Uh, let's get started, guys. So, guys, we're going to finish this week off, okay, finishing some details on the spider guard, okay, because there's a couple of scenarios you guys are going to run into, especially as you transition to getting your feet on the biceps, okay? So, create a good angle here. Okay, so you guys know the basic entrance into the spider guard, okay? I have my feet on the hips, and I have uh, double sleeve control, right, using just my four fingers, I'm not engaging my thumb, and I'm making sure that I'm keeping my wrist and my partner's hands north of my hip lines, okay, above my hips, not below, okay. So what happens here, guys? When we go to any one of the sequences here, I just have to shift and bring my foot to my partner's bicep, okay. It's very common that as I try to sweep, they bring and post the leg, right, making it very hard for me to start to extend this arm here, okay. If his leg gets in the way, okay. So we want to be comfortable, okay, of being able just to simply switch sides, guys, okay? Because look, his legs posted, so I bring my other foot to his other bicep, bring my foot to the mat, drive him sideways, okay? So we're switching positions, because now he's giving me exactly what we worked, just to the opposite side. I can hook his leg, okay? I can go for triangle transitions, right? I can go for omoplatas, right? Or I can go for the arm left position, that we worked last week, okay? But to control in spotted guard can sometimes become challenging because I'm not controlling the hips. I'm usually controlling with the foot on the hip, foot on the bicep, or like double bicep con uh, control here, okay? So as I make that transition, my foot goes to the bicep, he steps the same side that my foot is on his bicep, his knee comes up. All I'm gonna do, guys, look, I can still adjust my hip, I'm gonna switch. I'm going to put my foot that's on the hip to the bicep and bring the foot that was on the bicep to the mat. Pull, drive, and start my series from here, okay? Everything becomes the same after this, okay? He comes back up, right? I can still sweep to the opposite side, okay? So again, we're here. Make that transition, foot to the bicep. I switch, and I drive, okay? Right away. Just because his knee's up, okay, doesn't mean it stops it entirely. Okay, you guys are gonna have to play this on your own and kind of feel like, depending on the person you're training with, their body type and their kind of pressure. If I'm able to turn it to my side, I still think I'm sweep. I still have the sweep, okay? But sometimes they make it very challenging for me if I bring that leg up, okay? Yeah, make it super tight, make it hard for me to extend this arm. So I switch, and I bring him sideways, and I start attacking the spider guard. Okay, so guys, let's spend just a few minutes working just that switch, okay, because it's kind of awkward on bringing one foot bicep to the other, okay? So it's been a few minutes starting in that position and just switching from one bicep to the other. All right, so hands up, one, two, three. As always, if you guys have questions, you guys can unmute yourself. Ask, I'm happy to reshow the technique. Say that again, Ashley. The closer you are, I seem to hear you better. I don't know if it's my speaker. Oh, here, let me see. Let me see if uh, my thing yeah, disconnected. Oh, you know why? My thing turned off. Hang on. Okay. I was oh, wondering you're in the morning. Yeah. Like I can't hear you. My battery's dead. My bad. <laughs> I'll just talk louder. Does that work? Can you Ashley, can you hear me okay now? Yeah, I can okay. hear you. It's just not I mean the mic makes a big difference. Yeah. I didn't realize the battery was low, it died on me. Have to charge it. Okay. Let's get rid of that screen. Shane, switch your switch sides with uh, with.
with Diana so I can get a better view of what you're doing. There you go. Oh, everything's dying today. My Mac's down. All right. So Diana, bring your other knee up, Diana. Yeah, bring that elbow down now. Make it hard for him to. Yes, that's when he's going to switch now. Now, and Shane, take her to the side. Not up. No, the other way. So look here. So I bring my foot to his bicep, right? He brings that same leg up, making it hard for me just to extend this arm. So I bring my other foot to his other bicep. And this one goes to the mat, right, driving sideways, like a hook, going for the chokes, okay? Other way, Shane. No, no. Shane, Shane. Watch again. So. Oops. Okay. So here, feeling the hips like normal. I go to choose one side. I'm trying to go here, but before I get here, look. He comes here, makes it hard for me to extend. So my foot is on his left bicep. I'm going to bring my foot, my other foot to his right bicep. Look, this leg goes to the floor. Now I'm bringing him sideways. Here. Versus, you're trying to go here still. I'm going to go here. And then I can hook. And shoot him for the chokes. Make sense? Did I? No, for my my foot. Yeah. Oh, that's it. Bicep. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's okay. Thank you. So now bring your right foot on the bicep. Left foot goes to the mat. Now bring it to your right. Take it to your right. Yes. Yes. There you go. Now you can hook your leg and shoot the triangle choke. Yes, we got it now. There you go. Nice, actually. Good. Good. All right, guys. So come back here and let's revisit another scenario here. Okay, well, what happens? If I bring my partner to the side, doesn't matter which side. Okay, as long as if my legs towards the mat versus uh, up in the air, okay, like the first variation. It's common that my partner starts to bring his knee across my leg here, right, kind of pinning my leg. If I let my grip go, 
I'm giving him a leg lock opportunity, right? Like ankle lock, okay? Sometimes I can fall back, okay? And I start attacking the leg. I gotta make sure that if I put on the bicep, and he brings this leg over, I gotta keep my grip. But look, I still have my outside leg. If I feel like I lose my grip, look, I can bring my foot into his hip or his bicep. And I extend away and I recover. Make sense? So if you guys catch yourself in that dangerous position, right, where I'm here, he drives over, I lose my grip. I don't want to keep fighting him with my foot into his hip or his, his armpit. And I extend away. But I keep the sleeve because I can engage right back in to my spider guard. Okay? So look, very simple. From here, I go sideways. He immediately brings his leg over, pins. He's able to break my grip. Boom. Foot comes over. I put like in his rib cage or in his armpit. And I extend. Push him away. Now we're back to fighting. Okay? You can also use your knee. Okay? So if it gets real close, look, I can bring my knee in. Scoot myself away and re-engage, okay? Making sure you're controlling the sleeve, okay? The whole premise here, guys, is if I bring him sideways and before I have a chance to like hook his leg or shoot the triangle, right? I don't want to sit here, but he pins my leg, breaks my grip, boom. I keep the sleeve, push. Now I come back here. And from here, it's all independent on reaction, right? I can pull back the closed guard, okay? Or I can come back to the spider. Okay? So let's play around with that for just a little bit, and then we're gonna revisit everything we worked the last couple of weeks. Okay? Hands up. One, two, three. Yeah, it's, it's common, especially with like leg locks these days, you know, but for the good grip on the sleeve, it's hard, but it happens, especially in the beginning. There you go, Shane. Yep. Hi, Shane. Yep. Push away. Start to recover. Remember guys, this one here is like a last case scenario, you know? They pin your leg and break your grip. Now you're keeping the sleeve and just, uh, you're escaping so you can recover back to a guard. You're avoiding the attack. Yeah, nice Jason. So guys, to give you kind of like a, a an idea of, of what happens here, okay? So Chase brings me to the side. Boom. Look what I, I'm bringing my leg over because I'm trying to circle. Look, like I start attacking the leg locks, right? Coming here, okay? So, but if he's here, right, and I'm able to break the grip, he's gonna react, so he's gonna bring his foot here I try to attack his foot. That's when he pushes me off. Now we're fighting again. Okay? That's what we're trying to avoid. 
This is here. Boom. I pin. Circle. Yeah. Right attack. Now we're back. Okay. That's what we're doing. Shane, I can't hear you. You gotta unmute yourself. Hit the unmute button. Nope, can't hear you. Nope. Here, I got you. Let me see if I can unmute you. I got there you. Go. There you go. Diana to the rescue. That's her laptop. Good. You have a question, Shane? So pretty much just the key is just getting back to that guard recovery, correct? Yeah, from that, from that scenario, right? So like the last couple of weeks, we've been working the, the spider guard, right? Just come to variations, some chaining. And I just wanted to show a couple like what ifs, you know? Here's what happens that causes, causes uh, people to have some challenges sometimes, right? This is one of those, especially when you go sideways, because this position is not intended to like sit still, right? I'm not coming here to sit here. But sometimes what happens, especially when it's new, you do this and you think. He's like, he pins my leg. All of a sudden, I lose my grip. Now, if I let him attack my leg, I'm in trouble, especially with today's age of foot lock. So I want to make sure I bring my foot here. If he tries to attack my foot, Back out, you know. Got it. So that's it. Just a, just a quick defense on the what if. The other option was the same thing. You know, I go here. The sweep, but if he brings his foot up, it stays heavy. I have a hard time going here. So now I bring my foot and I switch, and then I go right back into my attacks. Okay. Okay. Cool. Then we're gonna revisit everything we worked this week here in just about one more minute. And be, be mean to him, Diana. Be heavy on that leg. Watch out for your cat. It's going to jump on your back. <laughs> All right, all right, guys. So now I want you guys to take. We're not going to review unless you guys have questions about details of any of the techniques that we worked the last couple of weeks. So I want you guys to start really getting in the rhythm, right, uh, of the chain of flow of all of these together. Okay. So just like a basic movement that I like to do, right? We start from uh, from the, the, the beginning. We work all the movements, right? So I go for option one. Boom. Oh. I come back, I go for option one, he defends. So I have option two. Boom. Oh, okay. I go here, I don't like option one, so I go here. Boom. Oh, triangle. Boom. Oh, I go here, he drives back up. Back to option one. All right? Boom, oh, I go sideways again. I have the arm lock. Okay? So starting to play with all those together. And if you want, have your partner kind of throw like a, the variable in, right? I go here, boom, he attacks my leg, boom. I get back, okay, boom, start circling or he defends. Kind of feel, okay, that momentum is when they start to give you the cue of their defense is when you go to the opposite side, okay? Start learning when to use that momentum in your favor. You guys got it? All right, guys, hands up. One, two, three.
Shane, are you ever going to let Diana have a turn? It's okay, Diana. You don't have to. It's okay. Good Shane. When you have, remember, when you have these positions, you got to really control the arm, right? So, for example, when I'm pushing Chase to the side, my hand's not standing out here. I need to pull everything in tight. Like I bring, I try to bring my fist like to my cheek. Because look, look how it contorts his body. It controls posture. If I just do this, he's going to sit up. Okay? But I sit here. He tries to pull back. Look, I lock my elbow to the side of my body. Pull chase. My arm. Then I lift. Go through my platus. Okay? I got to make sure I'm here. Same thing if I go the opposite direction. Okay? I go here. I can't be like this. Even though I'm on my elbow, look, his, his sleeve. I got to pull. Now, it becomes easy, okay? So make sure you're pushing with one foot, pulling hard with the other arm, like a bow and arrow. Good, Nice, Ashley.
So Diana, if you're trying to take to the side, this is gonna help you here a lot, right? So let's say here, for whatever reason, not working, and I wanna go sideways. If I leave my foot on the hip, it becomes very hard to just push in. So what I'm gonna do instead, I'm gonna switch sides here just so you can see. If I try to bring to the side, I leave my foot on the hip, it's hard. So I'm gonna bring my foot to the mat. I'm gonna drive off of the mat as I extend my legs that direction. I'm using this to really push myself and kick him the other way. Otherwise, if I'm here, it's just my leg versus his posture. Right? I end up moving myself more versus coming here. Switch your legs there, Ashley. Outside on top of the inside. There you go. Pinch your knees, hamstring to the mat. Yes. Now you can start to adjust. Good. Very nice. There you go, Diana. That looks good. So you got a couple of things here, Diana. Okay. In that position. You were in a good spot. Right? You were here. Boom. If he posts his leg like this, look, I can hook the inside and I lift him up. Because when he comes back down, look, I can shoot the triangle. Okay, my foot that was on the bicep goes over the over the shoulder and I lock the triangle. Okay, or we worked on this one last week. If I'm here. This is a little, this is a little more challenging, right? But I'm gonna swing my hips in and I come up and over, and I attack the arm from here. I put out a video, I think on Sunday, that has these details. So you have to get some watch as well. Jason, bring your knee. Yeah, there you go. You had it. So look here. When you had the more plata, okay? Especially my so knees. I like to be here with my feet crossed when I sit up. Boom. Then I can have my hamstring driving to the mat. Like I bring my hamstring down like, to the mat, right? So I'm here. I hold it down. So it makes it harder posture. But then when I switch, what I'm trying to do is I'm actually trying to drive my knee first, like down to his shoulder. Look. Then I drive my hips over. Stop tapping, Chase. Look, knee down, then I drive forward, and I finish. I'm trying to pin his shoulder to the mat with my knee. These pants really fit now. These are these are different ones. There you go. Nice.
So Jason, look here on this, I'm gonna fly real quick. What you're doing with the legs, not wrong, okay? Let me see, what's the good angle here? Uh, let's put this one. Here we go. So once you're here, I wanna go with the plata, okay? And I'm pulling here. You can come over and step, but look, when I do this, there's no pressure on your shoulder, right? When I start to bend and triangle my legs right away, so what I want to do, I, for me, what I like to do is this. I pull the arm, and I use my foot that's on his bicep, like I hook, and I pull my hips in. Look how I pull my uh, my hamstring like into his armpit, right? When I do that, I tuck his wrist into my pocket, okay? So I'm here. Boom. Look how I cross my legs, and I extend right away. And I sit up. I gotta pinch my knees, drive my hamstring down. I do that, all kind of in one motion. So I'm here, boom. I sit up, and extend. I can tell you, a lot of pressure in his shoulder here. And when I lock, I come up. This is important. My knee, I like, I like flare my knee open. You can kind of see that flare. Then I'm just driving my hips over his head. So I hook the shoulder. Drive. That's it. Okay. Good. All right, guys. Good work. Let's go ahead and jump into some specific training. Starting here, okay, one foot on the hip, one foot on the bicep, okay? Or if you guys want, you guys can start with both feet on the hip, okay? And knees, uh, like my shins and the bicep here, okay? Your, your call. Same thing, right? Top person's goal is to pass the guard, okay? He's able to break, pass, boom, control, stop, reset. What I want you guys to do is try to maintain spider guard here, okay? So even though you can transition out of the guards, what I want you guys to work on is being able to control the spider guard, okay? Obviously, work your sweeps, work the submission that's there, but I want you to, be able to control at least a foot on the bicep the whole time, okay? You can switch, doesn't matter, but at least one foot on the bicep the whole time, okay? If you lose your bicep, right, and you're here, I want you guys to stop, reset, okay? Go back to spider, okay? All right, guys, hands up. One, two, three. Ten seconds. Man, I hope your cat dumps you guys. <laughs> get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. <laughs> Let's go, Chase. Oh, oh man. 
itu Tamam guys, switch. Now punch myself in the mouth. Are you good? Yeah. Yeah. You have to go step or step over. And straighten my arm. Oh. Uh, and cut me in the lip. Oh. I punched it. Your hand hit you? Yeah. Press down the step Switch! Go! Oh, hello there.
What's that? It's trying to go for someone in the last of the there. I don't have the last of the suite. No, yeah, because yeah, just my bicep. There's eight fucking melody. See that it lands, come to the hips. That's the problem. So pull, use your back, put your elbows high. Yeah. I'm going to shuffle my hands. You can move your hips out, but keep pulling. Pull yourself a little bit, keep pulling the sleeves. Yeah. There you go. What's that? Right? Under shirt. Sure. <laughs> Light chase. <laughs> Time, guys. Lie down, stretch your arms and legs. Move your legs, open dark motion. Inside out, outside in. Brad, why is it in the dark? <laughs> Mysterious. Good. Lock your hands behind your knees, guys. Sit up and lay down. I'm unmuting everyone. Yeah, thank you. 
Jeffrey. What's up, Xavier? It's your Ricky place, all right? Good. Come up to your right side, guys. Stretch out your hip. My pants are too tight now. I can't even do that anymore. Is that an A2 or an A3? A2. Yeah. Yeah. But man, like, <clears throat> my jeans don't fit anymore. Like, all my clothes don't fit. <laughs> You're doing all those lunges. Dude, like, you should. You should see my high knee, bro. It's huge now. <laughs> <laughs> Sarah, his wife's like, he's like, dude, Johnny got an ass now. That's right. All them squats. I'm running mine off. Yeah, like, I'm as heavy as I've ever been in my life, man. Really? Like, good heavy, though. Not like a, I've been overeating heavy, you know, like a purposeful. In with it. Roll all the way back, guys. Hold that position. Huh? <laughs> oh, yeah. Roll back slowly. That's like over, over 4,000 calories. Oh, it's a lot of food. Awesome. Man, great work today, guys. Good to see. You know, I got Ryan on the Ryan on the uh on Zoom today. Got to meet the family. It's awesome. Sean's here. Got Shane on here twice. Shane's overachiever. He's here twice. <laughs> uh man, so guys, we're gonna finish kind of working spider guard this week, right? So a lot of it's just kind of putting things together, right? Making sure, you know, if there's any details you're missing. Missing, or I'm sure there are, but there's things or issues you're running into, questions you have, don't feel free to ask. Okay, um, you guys can send me videos of you guys working some technique. I'm happy to provide feedback, right? Like, I have to have the time to go watch and then you know, either send notes or, or get like get on Zoom with you and kind of give you guys some details on um, what I think you need to improve. But this week, just kind of tying everything together, I, I put out um, another video, I think it was Sunday, that has all of last week's details. Okay. So to cover most of the, uh, the last two videos we sent, we'll cover all those details. Okay, this week's really kind of like, okay, here's a couple what-if scenarios just based off this sequence. Uh, and so make sure if you guys have questions, let me know so we can cover them, okay? But it's really about using the cues when somebody defends or your, how your opponent reacts based off when you're engaging or where you're engaging spider guard and how to react at all. You don't have to start from one, two, three, you know? You can go three, one, two, two, one, three. It doesn't matter. Right, they all kind of flow together. So just kind of gaining that that uh, muscle memory or that cue, right, on when to make those transitions is kind of what we're working on this week. Okay, um, I'm gonna get some pictures. We should have started the inside construction of our new space today. Uh, so we should have started the framing. So like the outside building's done, right? Um, it's right next door, but the inside is starting to build. Um, we're hoping to have the whole new space done probably by end of june at the earliest probably early july at the latest okay um but i'll i'll, I'll be sure to post the updates as it goes along um to kind of keep you guys posted on how it's coming so it's going to be sweet guys so um over 1600 square foot of mat space this is about 12 30 in here and no corners in the way so it'll be nice and the, the walls the the walls will be matted as well so it's going to be nice um I don't know when, you know, obviously the, the big conversation uh, in the world right now is when are things reopening? I have no idea. <laughs> you know, I wish I could tell you guys for sure. We have a lot of questions like, hey, when do we think we'll be reopening? You know, as soon as they allow us to have classes, we will, right? Same day. We'll have class, assuming, you know, it's a part of the schedule. But, you know, if they say, you know, you guys can have classes tomorrow, we're having classes, right? Um, more information on the timelines, right? So apparently it's like a three phase process. Our biggest challenge, guys, is going to be the social distancing requirements, right? Everything I'm reading 
uh, as they roll out these phases require social distancing in some fashion. You guys know there's no such thing as social distancing in jujitsu, right? Uh, someone said the other day the 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 closest example or the next the next closest thing that might be worse than jujitsu is the adult industry. You know, so like we're super we're super close contact. You guys know that. So uh, it just depends on what restrictions they put on us. You know, so hopefully not too much. I know they're doing a lot of testing, like on um, checking for antibodies and things like that to see if people who may have already had this virus, right? And, have recovered without any symptoms kind of see what that looks like I, I got an article i got to read here uh that la did a study um and kind of coming out with some more information on that as well so but as of right now we're going to keep doing virtual classes i'll keep providing you guys videos um i sent out for the, those of you guys who have kids i sent out a uh, diy grappling dummy uh it's actually pretty cool actually i got one right here show you i call it he's not on the line right now but i call it, his name is neil so if you guys don't know so y'all know neil it's his, it's his hoodie. But, man, it's just a couple pillows. Honestly, I think you guys can do some training with it. Sean's got a lot of experience using the dummy, and, and it wasn't that bad. If you guys have, like, a tempur pillow, a little more dense, it would be nicer, you know. But uh, the kids love it. So if you guys are – you don't have a partner, but you guys want to work some movements, it's honestly not that bad. You know, it's a little weird to get used to uh, if you've never tried before, but it's not that bad. Um, but, guys, that's all, that's all I got for you. As always, if you need anything – let me know, reach out. It's always good seeing you guys. So thanks for coming. That's about virtual knuckles. And I'll see you guys on uh, Thursday. Sean, hang around. I can show you some, if you got some time, I'll show you uh, those details we were talking about. Ryan, good to see you and your family, brother. All right. Let me I'm clear. Give me, uh, can you give me like, Three minutes? You got two and a half, bro. No, I'm just kidding. Three is okay. five minutes. No worries. <laughs> the whole family, man. Look at all them kids, Ryan. You are a, you guys are you guys are busy, man. It's awesome, man. Man, I'm glad you guys are doing well, bro. We'll see each other soon on the mats, man. All right. Sean, I'm going to pull up your stuff right now, too, man. So, no, Sean did just because he's got his grappling dummy. Um, and so, like, he's doing the technique with uh, his wife uh, and taking some videos so I can see. And there was just some details that I, that I wanted to show Sean. Further. Yeah. You see how it's kind of like facing yeah. forward yeah. still? Um, yeah, versus it's more like a, like a looking behind than it is and pulling than it is a, like a falling motion. Maybe. But no, it looks good though. Like I like the, the videos. Oh, I got to. Yeah, that's right. I forgot. I'm still on YouTube. <laughs> Someone put get him. Take one. All right.